on a treadmill at the park and in an airport. Oh, I can tell you exactly what I was doing with all of them. Jeff Backus remembers every time his heart stopped beating normally. It's kind of like being lightheaded 20 times over. First time it happened, I thought, well, okay, I can stand here, it'll go away or whatever, but I just went down. He has an implant that jolts him awake and out of immediate danger, but it's not a long-term fix for his irregular heartbeat. You're always in the back of your mind thinking, is it gonna happen? I don't know that it's gonna happen, but I can't, can't just live my life worrying about it all the time. At times, Bacchus's heart beats too quickly, unable to pump blood to the rest of his body. About 300,000 Americans with the same condition die every year. Ventricular tachycardia is a life-threatening fast heart rhythm, and it's the most common cause of sudden cardiac arrest. It occurs when the electrical signal that regulates the steady heart rate short circuits in the heart's bottom chambers. The standard treatment requires hours under anesthesia. We go inside the body with tools to try to zap the bad heart rhythms. Sometimes you'll find patients have to come back for a second or a third or more procedures. But others become too sick to try again. So doctors are testing an experimental treatment that zaps the heart with radiation normally reserved for cancerous tumors. We have patients where that vest of electrodes, the non-invasive mapping system, and it's not too difficult to induce those bad heart rhythms. So in just one or two beats, we can map the electrical part of the heart and we can see where is the start of that arrhythmia. Then they pin the patient in place and beam a dose of radiation at their target. It's very personalized for that given patient. And there are some circumstances where we can really effectively minimize dose to the rest of the heart. Cancer specialists have long avoided zapping such a vital organ, but patients seeking the procedure have exhausted other options. It is a gentle treatment that's completely non-invasive. And as you saw when Jeff is done, he literally stands up and he came out with a big smile on his face. Um, and then, you know, he and Dana get to celebrate that moment. I think it's really special. Early studies suggest it could work, and in a surprising way. This treatment may actually rejuvenate sick tissue. It can be thought of as, you know, turning back the clock to take a diseased tissue and perk it up and make it function more like normal. Here, buddy. Like normal is all yep. Bacchus wants. Yep. Every time his heart needs to be jump-started, he can't drive for 30 days. My oldest grandson's birthday was this month and we couldn't go. My family lives in Tennessee. I've got a great nephew that's playing baseball down there in college. I would love to go see him play. And until I get released, I can't. You know, I, I, I feel like I'm, you know, almost stranded, you know, um, so. Scientists are recruiting for a large international trial that will prove whether this radiation therapy works well enough to use routinely. I know it's not going to fix all my heart problems. I, they're always going to be there. At least we're trying something, you know, and hopefully it's going to work.